Hello all and welcome. Today I'm bringing you an overview of Autobahn. We've got the design is just at the top here and it's brought to us by these guys at the bottom and there is the artist. This is a one to four player game. It takes about 90 to 120 minutes it says on the box. I think you're looking at a little bit longer for this one. Probably near two and a half, three hours if you're lucky. And it's the heavier complexity. Now in this one we are directors of the Autobahn organization and you can see the auto barn here working through the three eras we start off on 1946 era one we go second era here third era here once we have helped contribute as directors and helped build various carriageways upgrade them to dual carriageways bring out petrol stations upgrade things and unlock to make delivery so you'll have some trucks on your player board here as you do all that you're hoping to get your employees out in these various construction offices and then at some point getting them promoted into the lobby or well not promoted but shifted into the lobby and then promoted up the actual autobahn organization here to get points and that's the only way you're going to get points in the game <clears throat> so what are we actually doing then? Looking at our board, we've got five main actions and you'll have a hand of cards with colours matching the actual autobahn. So you have six cards here. I can just hold those. You've got various cards. I've got my root in the way as well. And you're going to be picking one of these colours and popping it above one of these actions. And the colour relates to where the action will take place. So for example, this one here, if we pick a red card, we'll be taking the red key and that helps us unlock these columns. So you start from the bottom and then you work your way up and you need to unlock them because if you don't, you ain't going to have access to these administrations at the top here. So if you unlock this one, it unlocks here and then that one is here and then to get access to this top one here, you need to have unlocked both of those. So that's the first action. Second action is all about building those actual segments of the autobahn. So if we put a card here, let's say we put this red one, now the number three means you can only do it three times before you're going to have to refresh your hand potentially. So we're only playing one card down. We've got space for two more. So we play one card down. We take an autobahn piece or a piece of road, shall we say, a carriageway. And you can see in round or era one, there's only ten. Once they've been exhausted, that triggers the end of here and you do a few bits and bobs and then you move into era two. So we would take one of these. We would be looking at the red autobahn, so we would put it to an adjacent one that was already there. And you can see this particular link from this city to there is two connections, um, two sections, so to say. <clears throat> so you look at the top here, era one. Now, if that link only had one section, you'd only pay six. If it's got two sections in the link, you're paying four for each one. But you can only ever build one at a time, so you're paying four. This is the cost for increasing the, the upgrade to your card row, And this reminds you of the movement. So we have placed this down. We've paid our four money. We then get to place an employee in the actual construction area of the matching color so we placed a yellow employee and that was in the red section and you put it left to right now as these fill up so let's just say you know on a future turn i'll just pinch these for now red was there yellow came in it's two player setup you can see yellow is actually going to bump these aside and the yellow one goes to the lobby now. And that's great because it gives us a two points at the end of the game. Or it might actually have a chance to get promoted in the areas that we wanted to and get more victory points at the end of the game. Because you don't get any victory points during the game. It's all about getting these employees uh, promoted up here for end game scoring. Now as well, when you complete links, you'll be putting some of these tokens out here on new cities and they're valuable because they increase the power of these cities and give you more money when it comes to the end of the, uh, the end of the era. But I'm getting ahead of myself there. So we've unlocked things, we've built stuff. This is where you can upgrade. So you can take one of those carriageways that's already out there. Say you played the white card to work on the white autobahn and you would flip, you have to do the entire link in this case and you'd flip both of them and pay the costs which in era one are six per section so you're paying 12 for that one you also get to put an employee out if you do the upgrade and you put that employee on the white construction office just over here from left to right again so that's these three actions this one is about loading trucks 
Now you've got one truck to begin with and you want to load these so depending on what colour you go there so say if you go for orange you can place one of your trucks on the board where there's an orange symbol on one of these cities you can play the black card or an orange to go here you place that there you load this up with one of the goods and there's a host of goods just at the top here so we take the green one in this case load it on and then you potentially get to move depending on the colour so if you'd placed a black card there you could move up to two spots in this particular area so you go one two but because it started on a dual carriageway we get plus one as well now i should add that the back of the rules have a really good sort of player aid here and you can see that the first thing you actually do is a delivery bonus if you've got any <clears throat> then you get to do one of these three things play a card which is what we've been showing you or you could refresh your hands so you know if there's colors you really want back you can get one money for each one you take and you can claim funding if the light doesn't shine so hard on that and claim funding is literally go once per era to this spot here you can have as many players there as you want but only one time and you get the money there and it gets more and more as you go throughout the years you also can play a bonus if you had any and at the end of your turn you get to do some movement if as i said the color matched this one so when you actually place this down you're most likely going to get a movement unless there's no network built but you then if it was black card you're going to get to move like i said at the end of your turn and if your truck was say down here and you played a black card but your card was used for some other part of the action maybe building or upgrading at the end of your turn the color matches where the truck is so it can then move as well now once a truck gets to one of these neighboring countries you will look at your unique player board so you will get one of these randomly and depending on which nation and what type of good you can either get money or if it's the actual right good say automobiles to france here you're going to get this extra bonus now this little bonus here is and you get these bonuses on a future turn it's the first thing you do on future turns of, of your choice so this particular little green symbol is really nice it's about this little development track down here so as you progress around and you get more development you get all these bonuses you can flip you know these actions from a two to a one so if you flip it over you can see you now get up to four potential roads built you got this promotion one which is the name of the game you want to get your employees promoted as long as you got the the keys unlocked to do so now as well when you actually unlock these you can see you get bonuses so when you actually do an upgrade to a dual carriageway you're going to get one movement on dual carriageway when you do this one you're going to get minus two costs for building each dual carriageway so some additional cards it can add to your hand you got the potential to replace cards and stuff like that so be mindful of these nice little bonuses here when you unlock rows you get little bonuses at the end as well now the last action is place one of these fuel stations and the more you manage to put out the more bonuses you're going to get when you go past them you get to choose either two a truck or four money if this was revealed if other players come by them you're going to get the highest of the lower little number so two in this case you know if this was the case you're going to get free money so these petrol stations will go out onto the board or if there's any available spots so let's say yellow went here has to be on a dual carriageway that was fully completed uh, it doesn't have to be a dual carriageway it could be just a carriageway alone and every time someone comes by you're going to get those bonuses now that's all of the five actions so once you want your hand back you know you take all the cards and you get one coin each unless you've just used all your cards and you have to take them all back now you want to be doing a whole mixture of things you want to be getting these out potentially because when it comes to scoring if you concentrate on this one you know and you've got one of your employees here you're going to get two points for each fuel station out there this particular row or column should i say is all about having construction workers out here this one's about having completed all those deliveries and this is just about money now once one person triggers the end of this era because 10 of the roads have gone whoever actually triggered the last one is going to get a free promotion so you get to move one of those employees up that administration organization track and then you will actually score money so how's this work so let's just say at the moment we had what we got a pinch of these yellow uh, just yellow in here so you're going to look at the black autobahn and you can see it's not connected to this city here it is here though so two four work our way down plus another floor is eight and uh, nine ten these would be different amounts because i haven't quite calculated them as sort of mid-game and and basically you'd add all these including neighboring ones if they're adjacent and that money then would be split 
depending on who's here. So at the moment, it's just yellow. They're going to get all the money. If it was yellow and red, it would be split in half, rounded down. So that is how you're going to get some nice money. You'd also get a chance to look at your route card. So at the beginning of the game, you're going to get one of these. And depending on where you have to go, if you completed it, you kind of want a low number, really. So depending on how many connections, minus how many petrol stations, and minus how many dual carriageways, will determine how many bonuses you get. You then move on to era two and do exactly the same. At the end of era two, the yellow waterborne will become available. So you get to do, you can see there's roadblocks there currently. But you get to do more stuff. The yellow action card will come into your hand and there'll be some extra cards as well that get revealed. These are some you can choose, some when you either replace or add. And these particular cards, you know, you could replace your orange for orange or a different colour. You get some of these and there's, there's a host of these special ones as well, hiding here as well. So, so some nice additions to your hand to get either more of the same colour card because you'll notice that when you play say red you got no more red card in your hand and you're having to bring it back whereas if you had two red cards how powerful would that be <clears throat> now once you get to the end of the game end of era three you're literally scoring points based on these so at the moment you can see yellow players going to get two points for each of their workers here so two four five so five times two ten red's going to get one for theirs if you went up this one you're going to look at your delivery board see how many deliveries you completed using these sort of little green tokens at the top get points for that this is about your fuel stations and this is about your money and whoever has the most money is the winner of well not the most money the most victory points is the winner of autobahn enjoy <laughs>